All right, I'm paddling, and I gotta show I gotta show you guys something really strange, because you know wherever I go, there's so much strange stuff, and nobody believes me. See that rope? I'm paddling on this beautiful lake. See, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, I'm looking in the water, and I thought it was like a really long branch, a stick. But as I continue to paddle, and then I see the rope, this is like some type of cable, like for long ways in the water. Now, that's that strange or 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 I don't know. Maybe somebody knows something that I don't. But look at that. It goes and goes and goes. And it's a double cable. And I just noticed it on this side of the lake. I didn't see it on the other side of the lake. But isn't that weird? Yeah, it just goes. I don't know if, if somebody's like stealing electricity. Because the whole other side, look at this, now it goes out into the deep. Ooh, it goes way out into the deep here. Oh, and then it goes back into the shoreline. Because that whole other side is off the grid. And they, I mean, there's no electricity. And then when I went around the corner of this lake, there was electricity. And now there's just this, there's just this big cable. Yep, it's Starry's world. There's my future house right there. Isn't that cute? Yep. I just need one, I don't need two. It is pretty cute. And, the, and there's the old Canadian flag. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> this is where I stopped to take a break. Yep. See, here I am again. <laughs> I just go from one activity to another, don't I? Mm -hmm. You know, here's a good question. I think I'm just going to sit in this water and cool off. And I think I'm going to do a video on this, too. Uh, regrets. Any regret to going off the grid? You know, I mean, look, look at this life that I'm living. I'm, okay, you know, I am blessed. Despite all the, the difficult things that I have had happen in my life, I mean, you know, if you watch my videos, it's, it just seems like I have a lot of bad stuff happen all the time. All the time. But I must say, God has been really good. And, you know, when you sign up to be a follower, he didn't say it was going to be easy. And I think our homestead off the grid is, is living proof of that. And I hope it's living proof of how you overcome. And I have always overcome through faith. I mean, I really have. I look at my life before I found the Lord and I, I shake my head and I think, how, how could I just get through the day? You know, and I, I, I'm not the best example of a follower. <laughs> you know, I, have, I have many, many moments. And I'm sure Mr. Hilder can list them all and point them all out. But I always, always go back to God, no matter sometimes how far I may stray. And, and usually it's not too far, but you know what? Let me tell you what. Life ain't easy. And, you know, when you're living in this world... Yeah, it, it, it tugs at you. You try not to be of the world. And for the most part, I really try not to. For me, this is my world. It always has been my world. And I think that's why really going off the grid was the icing on the cake. It was just expanding what, you know, I was already doing, what we were already doing. It just living so unconventionally not fitting in and and we were so blessed to find idaho so blessed to find our spot and i was so blessed that that the lord found me he brought me to idaho and he found me and he adopted me i think that was obviously part of his big plan <laughs>